Tonight in the Holy Land, wow, one of the most dangerous escalations in years. After Israeli missiles killed at least 20 people in the Gaza Strip, including nine children, according to Gazan health officials. Welcome back and thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my description and pinned comment for all my alternative platform links. So here we go again. After 400 now artillery missiles launched from Gaza into Israel with over 70 Israelis wounded and several killed, the US news media is playing their part in a terrorist tactic of using human shields in order to produce anti-Israeli propaganda in the form of US and world news reports. The tactic is so obvious that it strains credulity to believe that they don't know what they're doing. Here's how it works. The Hamas terrorists launch missiles from highly populated areas, in this case the Al-Aqsa Mosque, sometimes schools or just tightly packed civilian areas. When Israel inevitably responds, Hamas hopes that they hit civilians that they can then use to manipulate US news media into blaming Israel. Because some journalists there, uh, as you can see, have waved to us saying not to go there. Okay, so we're not actually going in there because uh, it's been rightly pointed out to us that there could be an immediate Israeli retaliation uh, to the rocket that was fired from here. Now, let's look at this objectively. I have no special love for Israel, and I don't doubt that they share a lot of blame in this conflict. But it's hard for me to harshly judge a country that's under constant attack by a literal terrorist government, whose openly stated goal is the destruction of Israel and Jews worldwide. Let's not forget that this is a country that wants allied with Hitler and still indoctrinates their population with very Nazi-esque propaganda to this day. Meanwhile, Israel is a top-tier first world country where Jews, Christians, and Arabs all coexist peacefully. Now before I dive into this topic any further, give me just 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer for my viewers. Ask yourself, are you on the investment treadmill? You know what I mean, saving and saving and saving cash for retirement. Well, guess what? That savings isn't gonna be worth much by the time you retire. Cash is trash. You have to make money work for you. You might already have the money that you need, but maybe you're not using it right. You're probably relying on stocks or mutual funds when really you need to diversify. With gold likely to go $2,500 an ounce this year, it's a perfect time. If you feel like this could be the answer for you, call the team at Noble Gold, take out a qualifying IRA this month, and they'll gift you a solid gold 22 karat 1 10th ounce American Eagle bullion coin. Visit our website now at the link you can find in the description or pinned comment. Go right now and check out this free American eagle gold coin offer tonight in the holy land wow one of the most dangerous escalations in years after israeli missiles killed at least 20 people in the gaza strip including nine children according to gazan health officials in the late afternoon a barrage of hamas rockets streaked out of gaza toward jerusalem they appeared to do minimal damage <laughs> But Israel responded immediately with airstrikes, which the Palestinians say injured and killed civilians, including nine children. Okay, wow. NBC News frames this as an escalation by Israel for retaliating after Hamas fired 200 or more rockets at the time into Israeli civilian areas. Now you can call me toxically masculine all you want, but the fact of the matter is if anybody fired hundreds of artillery missiles into the United States or any country for that matter, they're gonna respond in kind. Why? Because they have to take out those firing positions and hopefully the guys firing. Not doing so will result in even even more attacks and more Israeli casualties. The argument I always hear made by US news media and the political left is that Israel's responses are disproportionate. Whatever that means, disproportionality in warfare? The whole idea of war is that one side is stronger and defeats the other. So what if Israel did respond in the exact same way that they were attacked? Well, I can guarantee you that there would be way more Palestinian casualties. Why? Because when Israel responds, they strike specific targets. If they just launch hundreds of artillery missiles, missiles into Gaza, they'd probably wipe most of it out. Now, Israel also has the Iron Dome, which will stop some of those missiles incoming, but not all of them. As if having the Iron Dome precludes Israel from being able to retaliate and destroy targets that are actively attacking them. Air raid sirens wailing as Israelis took cover in their homes, a children's ballet class huddled in a classroom. 
Amazingly, no one was hurt. Most of the rockets stopped by Israel's defense system, the Iron Dome. But retaliation was swift and deadly. Palestinians saying at least 20 people were killed, including three children. The Israelis saying only three militants were hit. Notice how quick they are to accept Palestinian claims of civilian casualties. And by that, they mean Hamas, a terrorist organization dedicated to the destruction of Israel. How quickly they forget other times that they parroted Hamas lies, then had to backtrack long after Hamas had benefited from the drive-by media lies. These protests are not letting up among Palestinians. There is now no conviction that President Trump is an arbiter for the peace process. His militant supporters calling for rockets to fly toward Israel. And while UN human rights officials are criticizing Israel for using lethal force against protesters, Israel and the Trump administration are blaming Hamas. Meanwhile, did you ever even hear about the 108 Israeli civilian casualties during the attacks in 2018? Another point I want to make here is that leftists often like to downplay the deadly artillery used by Hamas as fireworks. But as you probably guessed, that's just an outright lie. Hamas has a deadly arsenal that has a limited success against Israel, not for lack of trying, but because Israel has become so good at missile defense and the retaliatory strikes. I ask you all, who is really to blame for Palestinian civilian casualties? Is it Israel or is it Hamas and the US news media who willingly play a crucial role in the human shield tactic? Let me know in the comments section. That's all I have for this one, but before you go, please hit that like button and subscribe. Also, make sure to check out all my alternate platform links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all tomorrow.